CBS4's Russ McQuaid went searching for answers. Russ? Good evening, Bob. The IMPD just started a new recruit class last week. All 27 current police trainees went through both physical and psychological training before and testing before being sworn in. But it's veteran officers, some with decades on the job, who find themselves accused of sex crimes. From Indianapolis to Monroe County, at least five law enforcement officers find themselves accused of sex crimes this year, some committed while on the job. Kamal Bola and Javed Richards of IMPD were arrested within a month of one another, both accused of sex crimes with children, as was Paul Humphrey, a 24-year veteran of IMPD last January. The same month, IMPD officer Myron Howard was accused of sexual assault of a domestic violence victim while he was on duty. The Monroe County prosecutor charged Deputy Jeffrey Freeman for assaulting a woman while he was on duty last month. An ex-cop who's a licensed social worker says it's stressful to be a police officer. Our job, of course, has been you know, a risky job anyway. Uh, so to get involved in things that cause risk is probably a way of uh, trying to avoid getting, getting that emotional high from risk-taking uh, perhaps doing things they shouldn't be doing uh, is a way of avoiding uh, whatever they're feeling. The Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory, the MMPI, is the most widely used and researched standardized psychometric test for public safety officers and everyone else in America. But it may not hold the key to rooting out potential deep-seated alleged criminality that may not reveal itself until after several years in a traumatic job. This type of behavior is 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 of concern, but I don't want people to think that all police officers are this way or that way. These four that we're talking about from IMPD are, are out of the norm. Uh, obviously, engaging in in taboo behavior that's not tolerated by the police uh, or or the general public. Experts tell me that any uh, police department applicant exhibiting signs of potential sexual misconduct would not necessarily make the cut, but with fewer people wanting to be police officers, agencies may be willing to give ground on some behaviors or histories that would have been deal breakers in the past. Max?